now we are going to install Alpine Linux in our virtual machine. Okay, first we need to go to this website alpinelinux.org. Okay. Go to the download section. Then go down. There is an option virtual. In that virtual section, we need to click on x86 64 bit. Okay, now it will download an approximate of 50 MB of ISO image. <coughs> okay, it will take around one minute to complete. You say download, but for the demonstration purpose, I just download it again. Okay, now open your virtual box, click on new, then give it a name, Alpine Linux, okay, it's a Linux distro, then make it other Linux, okay, 512 MB is enough, you can give it 256 also, not an issue, click on create, then we are going with default setting make it a fixed size for my purpose 1 GB is enough so I give it 1 GB click on create ok next thing we need to go to our virtual box setting then click on system we don't need floppy drive ok so disable the floppy drive module and make it down first for the first installation time we need the optical drive cd rom okay then next thing display is fine storage is fine click on the empty cd symbol icon then hit again in that empty cd symbol icon and click on choose a disk file okay i just downloaded it twice so delete me the first second item okay now select the alpine linux image okay we don't require any audio so disable that audio module and next click on network section net is fine we can continue with net but from host to client and client to host it's better to use bridge okay in that more you are communicate with your host operating system but you cannot communicate easily there is too many different way but you can directly communicate with your client operating system so it's better to select bridge adapter okay i think the settings is enough for our demo then click on start Uh, it will take around 30 seconds to boot up the alpine image max to max 30 seconds okay it's boot now it's asking for login i login as root okay now how to set up alpine it's a very simple command we we are going to set up now so we need to use setup what to set up alpine hyphen alpine hit enter okay now it's asking for available keyboard layout uh, we are going to use us keyboard layout so i type us then it's asking for variant okay which variant for example uh, in us region uh, we are selecting us international keyboard layout or something else okay if you want to abort this installation means the keyboard layout then surely you can type a b o r t abort okay it's asking me again for again for the keyboard layout uh, this time i am selecting in in stands for india hit enter then it's asking for which indian version i want to select okay for example i just select I am hyphen 
uh, let me check is there any international version for the uh, indian language no so le- maybe it's there but i am going to about this uh, english language sorry indian language a b o r t about now i am going to select us again okay us okay now e i just uh, select the keyboard layout as us hyphen alt hyphen actually i am not typing from my end it's already mentioned in the available variant section if you check properly you can get all the details here okay us hyphen alt hyphen intl i n t l hit enter then uh it's asking for uh qualified domain name okay sqdn okay for example i am using it for my lab purpose so i make it my lab 1 dot alpine uh, sorry my lab whatever you can give any name any name okay my lab then alpine dot again lab okay okay now it's asking which one do you want to initialize uh you if you hit question mark then it's uh so you the option but i am going with the default option that is internal virtual box ethernet adapter and it's assume it's eth0 ethernet 0 just simply press enter hit enter okay now it's asking for ip address for eth0 dhcp non or question mark again if you put question mark it will show you more option okay but i am going the default option going with the default option it's dhcp okay it's already selected so we don't need to type anything just simply press enter now it's asking us for do you want to do any manual network configuration no i don't i need the automatic network configuration the settings is okay so again hit enter uh now it's uh broadcasting okay it's uh, getting our default broadcasting server it's 1 and 2 1 6 8 1 0 1 okay now it's asking for root password okay password is set acha next thing which time zone are you in if you put question mark it will show you all the time zone option okay utc or something else so i'm going to put question mark so it will show me the all option okay now i am getting the details i select asia then it's asking for which uh, asia which region mumbai kolkata uh, in linux operating system kolkata is the default time zone for indian okay for our india so make it kolkata hit enter okay now it's asking for proxy i am going with non i don't need any proxy it's asking for ssh option sorry not not ssh option it's asking asking for npt client to run so we are going with uh, default npt client crony hit enter and now i think it's asking for ssh application details no it's not asking it's asking for the mirror from where we want to download our application we are going with the default option it's already selected you can see uh, one is within the bracket just simply hit enter okay now it's asking for which sss server you want okay there is uh, currently the there is two sss application is there open sss and drop beer okay we are going with the default open sss hit enter only nothing more okay now uh, it's showing us that available disks are sda okay that is 1 gb okay we are going with 
SDA with not so just type SDA this is most important point we are going to install operating system in that partition so we need to enter the partition name that is SDA by default it's SDA so type SDA and hit enter okay it's asking us again how would you like to use it system or data or script or LVM I am going to use it as a system partition so I type it SYS and hit enter okay done it's giving us a warning it's going to delete everything okay sure we just hit Y and hit enter it will take around one minute to complete the installation okay it's done okay installation complete please reboot I'm not going to reboot it I'm going to power off okay the next thing we are going to disable the boot method go to the storage option here you can see it's already mounted first thing it's a, a good practice you need to remove the um, virtual ISO image from that drive and go to the system option then disable that optical drive and make it down what is our current boot partition that hard drive okay one gb partition is our current boot partition click on start okay our alpha line image is started okay okay sorry it's asking for the username username is root password okay now let me clear the screen okay who am i i am root clear okay now I'm going to check with our uh, Windows system is it communicate or not okay IP config or Windows IP is 192.168.50 and ping 192.192.168.50 dot one dot five zero ready it's pinging 